Hello, this is question number 47 in Walker Physics Chapter 6 and in the end of chapter questions. The question says, referring to the picture, find the tension in the string connecting the M1 and M2 blocks and the tension connecting the M2 and M3. Assume the table is frictionless and the mass is moved freely. All right, well, in that case, the only thing pulling this is the three kilogram mass. So let's find out what its force is that's pulling on the other strings. So this is gonna be mg. Okay, so mg is going to be three times 9.81. And I have that as 29.43 newtons. Okay. All right, so if I've got 43 newtons pulling it all, Let's find out what the acceleration is. If I could find out what the acceleration is, and I know the mass, then the force here is the one pulling these two blocks, and the force here is the one pulling this block. So the accelerations would be the same because they all move together. If this speeds up or whatever, they're all, gonna, they're all connected, they all move together. So let's take this as our force. We'll do a Newton here. So we have 29.43 newtons. Now, all of my blocks together are moving. So all of them are counted as M. So this is three, four, five, six. So this is six A. So I'm gonna divide 29.43 divided by six. And I get A as 4.905 meters per second squared, okay? Now that I know A, I can say force equals MA, all right? Because the force that's of this tension, the tension in this string is the force that's pulling these two to the right, okay? So this is going to be, I need to find out the tension, so let's call this T1, call this one T2. They're essentially just force, F equals MA. T1 is a force that's pulling it. Okay, my M is now these two because this one is, is out of the system. I'm only considering these two. So this is now three. So T equals three times that acceleration that's the same all the way through the system. Okay, three times that. Okay, and I get here, it's 14.715. Okay, so I'm gonna round that two, so it's 14.7. I assume all these are two, two, and two, so let's go to 15 newtons. So this is 15 newtons right here. That's the block of T1. So that's in be between M2 and M3. Now, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna say T2 equals, we're only pulling one kilogram, so this is one, and we're pulling it at the same acceleration 4.09, no, 4.905, okay, and so this is going to be in two significant digits, um, 4.9 newtons, all right, so A between M1 and M2 is going to be 4.9 newtons, and B is going to be 15 newtons. Hope that helps you.